Today, we will teach our engine trainees how to prepare the main engine. Okay. So first things first, this is our console for the main engine, yeah, right? This is your blower. For the blower, maneuvering handle, remote control panel. There's your interface. Yes. First thing to do is to uh, put on standby. So yeah, very nice. Then the bridge will uh, confirm. Once on standby, we will put preload. Preload is here. Sorry. You need to turn this on. So it means that the oil will circulate, the pump is running, and we will now go to the turning gear. Interlocks are safety block that will restrict the engine from running. The turning gear is an interlock condition. As long as it is engaged on the flywheel, the main engine will not start. As much as possible, we let the trainees carry out the simple tasks so they can familiarize properly. Initial engine revolutions shall be created through the use of pressurized air from the starting air system. Making sure that the system is free from condensate will ensure that pneumatic valves will function accordingly. The blow throw of the main engine with indicator cocks open is done to check for leakages inside the combustion chamber. Any potential leaks on cooling water and lubricating oil on the liner will be visible through the valve outlet. Purging the chamber of combustion by product is also necessary prior official run of the main engine. When the engine is on bridge control, all maneuvering controls are transferred to the bridge panel. The duty engineer and crew shall be on standby for parameters check and make sure all machinery are ready for maneuvering operation.